I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Force. The purpose is to play categories that you might not normally consider. I have strips for every category on the card and we're gonna pre-select three and play hands in just these categories. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to play odds, quince, wins, and dragons. We'll alternate between the dealer and non-dealer, so I'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We need to force odds, quince, and wins and dragons. If these were your tiles, which would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd focus on wins. There's even a hand that uses four flowers. So I would pass number tiles. So let's see if we can get wins in here. Let's see, as a plan B, maybe we could keep the odd tile. Oh, but look, like numbers. Let's see here, I, I would not pass like numbers. So I would probably let the five go and pass an eight. flower. We have all the flowers we need for that. I think it's the fifth hand down. Okay, so let's see. Here's a nine. We have a pair of eights in there. News, flowers. I think I would pass one of each suit. We got a wind, and it's a good one. Let's pass these three. A dragon. Let's pass those. I think I might, if these were my tiles, let one of the dragons go so we're not stuck with two dragons, just in case we get more wins. So I'd probably let one go. No wins. I would pass these. Wow, wins. We have an extra north, but that's okay. We have three tiles to pass. A hand with no gaps. We have an extra north. With all these flowers, I'd let the wind go because we only need single, then we need a pair, Pung Kong. No keepers. These are keepers. I would pass these in the optional. No keepers. So we have four discards and a hand with no gaps. I would say we're probably a contender for this one. Four discards. Wins and Dragons. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write what you would have done in the comment section below with Force One. Okay, let's hope for Jokers.
No jokers. Four, four. Okay, now we have one, one, two, three, one, four, seven, one, two, four, five, six. We need to force odds because we have no jokers. Makes it easy. Just keep the odds and then see what happens. So let's pass west, six, maybe the four. We have two fours and two twos. All right, let's see if we can get odds, probably little odds. We got two. I'd let the big odd go. Let's pass two, four, seven. We'll focus on little odds of some kind. Oh my gosh, we got a pair of sevens. We gave up the seven. I would just let it go. There's a pair of twos there too. We're forcing odds. We got a big odd. We need little odds. Oh. Let's let one of the sevens go. There's a little odd and a flower. Three tiles pass. A flower. Two. Okay, now in odds, I don't think we need three flowers. I don't pass flowers typically, so I think what I would do... We're going to the right. I think I would let this go. One dot. Big odds. So let's pass three. Odds and a little number. So some kind of one, three, five. Maybe, maybe the 135 one suit hand, if we can get a green dragon. We could also do 1335. I would just gather and probably see if I can plan in the flowers for an odd hand. If you would have done something differently, Write it in the comment section below with force two. So we have a joker. Dragons. Dragons are not in the quince, so these are going to have to go. Then we have a wind, which is in quince. We have no, let's see, no flowers, but we do have a pair of eights. So I would start there. Maybe we'll get flowers, not likely. So I probably would hold consecutive tiles. If a flower shows up, maybe we could play the third quint. So let's let the dragon go. We have three, four, five. So let's let these go. If we get a two bam, we could try two, three, four, five quint, maybe. So let's see what happens here. We got a one and sevens. Okay, sevens, that's not helpful because we have an eight here. Although, maybe we could do like numbers with sevens. Let's, let's see, let's break up. Let's let the three dot go. Sevens with an east. Okay, so we got a, we need three, four, five here. Let's see. Seven, eight. Let's pass these three. Flowers. 
Oh my goodness. Now that we broke up the eight, we got flowers. Okay, well, let's keep the eights. Let's see if we can get it back in the optional. So let's pass three, six dragon. Okay, we need, we need an offsuit. We don't need an eight crack. We need an eight bam or an eight dot or maybe a six dot, nine bam, something like that. We really don't need that. So let's pass one of each suit. Let's see right here. Nine dot. That's not a good tile for us. We need a, we need a, I don't know why I said nine bam. We need a eight, a six or an eight there. So this is not helpful. Okay, so let's pass these three. Maybe we can do east with sevens. No keepers. Oh, we have joker bait. Okay, we could do east with sevens or seven, eight seven eight flowers so it's a little bleak but we have joker bait and three discards for a quint that was a little concerned on that one but there's a little ray of sunshine in there we have a couple of multiples and joker bait and a joker let me know what you thought about force three in the comment section below By doing this exercise, you will be able to exercise the skill of playing categories you might not normally consider. So if you have a tendency to play certain categories or certain types of hands, this is a way to break that habit. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.